Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my room. As I mentioned last week, I'm out of town right now, so I won't be able to pump out a video. However, I also mentioned that I got a warning from YouTube that could lead to a strike if I don't get the warning removed. So I took their stupid course, which was retarded beyond belief. Not only did I learn nothing, I literally just finished it, and I can't for the life of me remember a goddamn thing they said. They said it was gonna take me 15 minutes to complete, and I finished it in five. I don't know where they got the 15 minutes from because it was only seven questions, and it was like multiple choice, and it pissed me off because some of the questions were obvious, and some of the questions made no fucking sense. So let's get into the worst video I'll ever make and let me show you what it's like to take a YouTube policy course. I literally just ate tacos and I cooked it in spicy chili seasoning so my mouth is on fire right now. So I apologize in advance if that causes any issues. I don't know why I do this to myself. See, seven questions, 15 minutes. I finished it in five. I'm taking this course in response to a hate speech violation on my this is peak fatherless behavior video. So go watch that video. Let me know if you think I'm promoting violence or hatred of any individuals. I told that chick with the truck nuts dangling from her labia that she was fucked in the head and apparently that promotes violence and that's not allowed. But if a trans person tells me to go kill my Myself, that's not considered hate speech in YouTube's eyes. Anyways, hate speech isn't allowed on YouTube. We don't allow content that promotes violence or hatred of any individuals or groups based on any of the following attributes which indicate a protected group status under YouTube's policy. Oh, you heard it here first, folks. Straight from YouTube's mouth. Trans people are in a protected class. I've been saying this for the last year and everyone in their mama was like, no, they're not protected. They're marginalized and they deserve extra rights. Go fuck yourself. They are in a protected class according to YouTube. They get to do and say all kinds of shit and never get in trouble for nothing. Anyways, these protected groups include age, caste, which I had to Google. I thought it said castle, but I knew that couldn't have been right. Disability, ethnicity, gender identity and expression, nationality, race, immigration status, religion, sex and gender or sexual orientation. They put gender identity and expression and then they put sex, gender and sexual orientation. So are you telling me that these are all different? I thought they were the same. Isn't gender identity and sex and gender the same? Isn't gender expression and sexual orientation, aren't those on two sides of the same coin, bro? Like what the fuck? Victims of a major violent event in their kin, so like a shooting. And veteran status, which they put last for some reason. Can't defend any of these groups without getting struck, but you can hashtag kill all men and you can bully straight white men until you're red in the face and you can shit all over America and not face any backlash from YouTube. Which, by the way, violates like seven of these. Just pointing out the hypocrisy. This shit is fucking retarded. Question one. A video includes a hateful slur and stereotype that targets individuals based on their sexual orientation. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, that's obviously a violation. So if you call me cis, for example, you could get banned. What's the matter? Oh, does that not apply? Cisgendered, a word created by a pedophile who experimented on twin boys and made them fuck each other. A word the trans community just attached to us without any permission whatsoever. That's not a slur in your eyes. It's only when I call a gay man a fag, right? Yeah, sure. The word cis was created by John Money. Go look him up. He experimented on two twin boys, turned one into a girl, made them fuck each other, and then, in their teens, both boys killed themselves. They would not have done that if they were left the hell alone. I think cis is partly used to identify people who aren't trannies, but it's also partly used to emasculate men. Think about it. How manly is it to see a straight white man, possibly a beefy gym bro, going, I'm sis. Yeah, you a sissy. The problem is, is that the trans allies are mostly high school college kids. People who have experienced a grand total of 0% of life and don't understand the overall motive of the movement as a whole. And the fucked up part is that you can't tell them shit because they think they know everything. I was 20 once, okay? I know that mindset. You can't tell a 20 year old shit. They have to figure it out. And they can't tell the difference between someone who's genuine, someone who's brainwashed, and someone who's just trying to fit into a social group. And they also think that if you call out one specific person, you're talking about the entire demographic as a whole. They can't separate themselves from the hive mind mentality. Take this commenter for example, who thinks that just because I called out one white guy pretending to be a lesbo that I must think all white trans women are just trying to avoid being at the bottom of the totem pole. And no, I was talking about that person specifically. Straight white men are an enemy of the left. They're so hated by the left that you have self-hating white men forcing their wives to go to work. That's why you see more straight white men switching to the conservative side. Why would we want to be a part of a group that hates us? So it's not uncommon for a straight white man to become a woman just to shoot up to the top of your victim hierarchy. You might be blind to it, but I see it all the damn time. Also, I feel like I should point out that I'm not a straight white man. I'm a bisexual Asian from the Philippines. So don't get confused just because I said we, but somebody needs to protect my straight white homies from the oppression of these quote unquote minorities. My straight white homies are the biggest victims of racism, sexism, and heterophobia I've ever seen in my entire adult life. The other groups always claim to be oppressed, but I never see it. Just a bunch of Charmin ultra soft liberals crying because they overanalyze every sentence, scanning it for the smallest micro aggression so they can justify flipping the fuck out because they have skin like wet paper. Yes, it's true. I've seen more racism against whites, I've seen more sexism against men, and I've seen more heterophobia than I've ever seen homophobia. Also, Republicans are more tolerant than Democrats. Republicans genuinely accept everyone, whereas Democrats only accept you if you think the same way. Even if you're technically a part of their oppression hierarchy, the moment you question anything, you're an enemy to the left and they will beat you up and make threats on your life. These are not good people, despite what they may want you to believe. I've now been on both sides of the political aisle, and I can tell you that 
I'm way happier being a conservative than I ever was being a liberal. Conservative women are way hotter, and if you're judging a book by its cover, conservatives are better put together and they just look more mentally stable and hireable. Anyways, I'm rambling too much, I'm sorry. In a video posted by a news organization, a news anchor describes how a local preacher gave a speech calling for all believers of a certain religion to be killed. No, this is not a violation, obviously, because the actual hate speech is coming from the preacher being reported on and not the news channel itself. This is good to know, though. The next person who types KYS in the comments is getting reported. I can see Ace the Machine typing KYS right now just to be ironic. I swear to God, Ace, I will crush you with my refrigerator. Not gonna lie, I've probably violated this very policy like 12 times in this video alone. It's good that I'm learning this shit. So as a Christian, right, if you call me a Bible thumper, for example, is that considered hate speech? You see, they want you to view this from the perspective of a white Christian conservative hating a liberal, but this applies in the other direction too, bruh. Christianity is the only religion you're allowed to hate. I'm willing to bet money that YouTube won't be willing to take any action if, say, a trans person did a hate speech against a Christian. Highly doubt it. This is one of the obvious ones that pissed me off. Obviously, a professor talking about Nazis is not hate speech. How would that even be construed as hate speech? Maybe if I put a disclaimer in my videos that says it's for educational purposes, I can't be affected no more. My videos are educational, YouTube, you stupid fuck. This is one of the other ones that pissed me off because I got it wrong. <laughs> Oscar uploads a video where he says, fortunately, more and more people are supporting neo-Nazi viewpoints. Such views are becoming more commonplace, which in my opinion is a good thing. I said, no, it's not hate speech, and YouTube told me post-haste that I was mistaken. Now, I don't like Nazis, from the Matrix or otherwise, okay? But this is just one man's opinion. How is this hate speech? How does supporting Nazis attack a specific group? Basically, what this is telling me is that your opinion doesn't actually matter, and if you happen to support a group of people that YouTube doesn't like, you can get your channel banned. We're not far off from YouTube banning channels who support Donald Trump under the guise of, quote, hate speech. So let me try something real quick. Fortunately, more and more people are supporting Donald Trump's viewpoints. Such views are becoming more commonplace, which in my opinion is a good thing. I'll let you know if I get a strike. I'll spare you the rest, they're basically the same as the previous shit. Basically, you can't be hit for hate speech if you upload shit in the style of a documentary. So maybe I'll make a documentary on how trans people are taking over women's spaces and how 45 year old men are raping our daughters in the bathroom. How tight will they make their hate speech policies to protect their precious mafia? This was stupid, I learned virtually nothing, and my video didn't even violate the hate speech guidelines they presented me with. They just wanted to protect their protected class. Free speech is dead on YouTube, follow me on Rumble, sign up for the Patreon, and I'm fucking up my outro. Thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, Go to SeekingAsylum.net to check out some merch, and I'm gonna go fornicate with a blue-haired cat girl. See you in the next video. I've been riding around town, blowing loud with the window down. Oh shit! New phone, who this? I'm just steady winning. You can't even hurt my feelings, homie. Oh shit! New phone, who this? You can't ever slow me. Half of y'all don't even know me, homie. Oh shit! New phone, who this? Don't you dare try to call me, cause I'm introverted, homie. Better text me that shit. New